You can now connect your AI to thousands of other services via Make.com using the Make.com webhook block. Let me show you how it works. Here I have an AI called blog to tweet that collects the URL of a blog post. It then takes that extracted text and generates a tweet based off of the text in the article. Now let's say we were building out our content calendar in Trello and we wanted to take that tweet and instantly add it to our Trello board here, our content calendar. Well, we can easily do that using the make.com webhook block. When we click into the block, we can see that we have a couple of things that we need to configure on the right hand side. The first is the make webhook URL, which we'll get by creating a scenario in make.com. And the second is the input. In this case, what we want to do is take this tweet text and then use the variable tweet text as our input. Now let's go ahead and get our make webhook URL. We'll go into make.com and create a new scenario. From here, we'll need to create a trigger event. So we'll look for the webhook trigger. And then we'll select custom webhook. We can create a new webhook by tapping on the add button where we can name it. And from here, it'll start listening for an event. It also gives us a URL to copy. Let's go ahead and copy this URL to our clipboard and inside of Mind Studio, we'll paste it in. To make sure that the event is working properly, we can go into our make webhook function block and you'll notice that there's a test data tab. Let's go ahead and inside of these quotation marks, we'll add the same configurations we added. Only in this case, we're going to add a small message, something like, hello world. We can then press the play button to run the function and you can see that data was sent to make. And here's the message that was sent. Now inside of make.com, it'll say that it was successfully fetched. And we can go ahead and continue building out our scenario by adding another module. Now let's look for the Trello module. And from here, we want to create a new card. You'll need to connect your Trello account, but you can see I already have mine connected here. And we can select a board and a list to add the card to. In this case, I have my demo board here. And we will select the upcoming posts list. As we work our way down this module, you can select your labels and the members and we can also add a name and description. For this module, I'm going to be adding the data that we're sending as the name and the description, but you might want to modify this. Now, as we scroll down, we can just make sure everything's all filled in. And when we're ready, we can tap OK to save that module. And we can go ahead and test our automation by running it once. You can see it's now listening for an event. So let's go ahead and send over some data, in this case, the hello world message. We can see that it was sent successfully via our block here. And we can see now that the automation was successful. Let's go ahead and check our Trello board just to make sure. Indeed, you can see that Hello World is now present as a new card in our Trello board. Now that we know that it's working properly, let's go ahead and turn on this scenario. And now that the scenario is complete and running, we can go back into Mind Studio and publish our AI. At this point, it's going to ask us to paste the URL of a blog post. Here I have a blog post about space lasers from The Verge, so I'm going to go ahead and copy the URL. And then inside of our AI, I'll paste it in. And at this point, it is scraping all of the text from the article that we posted. And it's generating a tweet and then it's sending that tweet over to Trello. We can see that the post draft was successful. So now let's go ahead and check Trello to make sure the whole flow worked properly. You can see here that a new card has now been created that included our post text. To summarize, the make.com webhook block 
lets you connect and pass data over from your AI to make.com to connect to all kinds of other services and create all kinds of automated processes.